Hey there, Parker Reed here, and welcome to PR Media, your home for everything movies and music, through my eyes. And today we have a trailer review of the new Matt Reeves directed film, The Batman. Now I wasn't expecting to make this video, obviously there was no news of a new trailer coming out for the film, or anything surrounding it because everything's been in lockdown due to COVID-19, but when this trailer dropped and I watched it just one time through, I knew I had to make a video about it. So The Batman is the latest solo film in the Batman series directed by Mr. Matt Reeves and is going to be the first appearance of Robert Pattinson's The Batman. And I did not expect this one because I keep hearing news of Ben Affleck coming back as Batman. I know next year in the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League, Batman's going to be featured again. So I was like, okay, they're going to put their stock in Ben Affleck going forward. And maybe the Batman starring Robert Pattinson is going to be delayed a little bit. But no. And when this trailer came out, holy shit. This feels like the most high budget fan film about Batman I've ever seen. It's like everything that you would want in a Batman trailer. One, it's super dark. Not with the color palette's dark, but it seems like the tone's really dark. It centers around his conflict with the Riddler and kind of the fight for Batman's soul. It also features Catwoman. And there, it's, there's no happy moments to be found in this trailer. But you do get a good glimpse at uh, Robert Pattinson's bat suit, at, his, at the Batmobile, and how stark Gotham looks. And a lot of people are unsure about Robert Pattinson's Batman. When you have the guy who played Edward Cullen in Twilight, playing the most popular comic book hero of all time, you can understand people's gripes with that, but it looks like he's going to nail it. His bat suit looks awesome. It looks like a mixture between Ben Affleck and Christian Bale's Batman. His voice was great, we only heard him deliver a line or two, but he sounds like a more tamed down version of Christian Bale, where Christian Bale sounded like he had throat cancer. This sounds just like a menacing low voice and something Robert Pattinson is pulling off really well. The Batmobile looks great. It's um, You see it going through the street a couple times and it looks menacing. It looks like a sports car gone to hell. And just like a good teaser trailer, you don't you don't get a lot of plot elements. You see that it's going to be about the Riddler and Batman, and you see some imagery that's kind of akin to Batman v Superman with what Lex Luthor was leaving Bruce Wayne to kind of get the conflict between him and Superman going. But besides that, you don't know a lot, and it's not a super short trailer either. It feature It's about feature length, but it doesn't tell you a lot. And by the end of it, where it just says 2021, I'm super excited for this movie. I really want to... I think Robert Pattinson can pull off Batman very well. I don't think he gets the credit that he deserves as an actor, and I think he's going to really shine in the role as Batman. Matt Reeves is a great director, but let's see if that marriage works out. And I'm just happy that we got this trailer. In a year full of every movie getting delayed because of COVID-19, every film stopping production for a while due to the virus, I'm happy that we got this bit of news. It looks like they used the film footage that they had before, so we're going to get more awesome stuff at least, at least that's the hope. So did you watch the trailer for The Batman? I know personally when I did, I'm super excited for it. Batman's one of my favorite comic book characters, and he hasn't been done justice on the big screen in nearly a decade since The Dark Knight Rises. Some say not super well since 2008's The Dark Knight. So hopefully Robert Pattinson pulls it off. I'm pulling for him, and I'll be there opening day. Thank you so much for watching this episode of PR Media. Did you watch the trailer for The Batman? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments below. Keep supporting physical media, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.